This is a certified hood classic. Gohan is one of the greatest characters in Dragon Ball Z and my absolute favorite from the series, which is why in today's video we'll be talking about the time Gohan tapped into his Hall of Fame rage mode and clapped the Bojack squad. Without further ado, let's get right on with the video. She was not looking good for Gohan as the young girl was on the receiving end of the nastiest bear hug known to mankind from this optimus feature, Bojack. Bojack had Gohan passing down from the bear hug like he was Hulk Hogan in his Smackdown 2002 throwdown against Prime Brock Lesnar. What made this scene even more tragic is the fact Bojack's squad was smirking like Arkham City goons in the background. Like this bum Bujin had me irritated with the way he was grinning in the background like a joker thug. I don't know about y'all but I absolutely hated this dude in the movie. The way he did my boy TN dirty in 3 seconds always gets me. For all the G's and sisters who watched the OG Dragon Ball series, you know exactly how I feel because Tien was a goat in that series. Gujin spamming his cycle thread on Trunks and Gohan earlier had me wanting him to receive the killer croc and just his two transitions so bad. Gohan couldn't take any more for the Brock Lesnar bear hug maneuver from Bojack and passed out from the deadly submission. Elsewhere, Goku was in the middle of the Spider-Man 3 level rage moment. Like look at the goat's face. Goku was thinking about going back to his prime Namek Saga era days just to clap Bojack and his squad for jumping his son. And you can't blame Goku. If that was me or any of you guys, we would have pulled a Wally West out of our asses and hit every one of those vile villains with an infinite mass punch special for the treatment they're giving Gohan. Goku was like, nah, I'm done waiting around and teleported out of the like to save his son, which shocked King Kai greatly due to the fact Goku was going to go box his son's ops as a dead man. In a split second, Goku gives Bojack a Damian Wayne, Tim Drake ass punch to the face, resulting in a man to not just leak blood from his mouth, but to also crash to the ground like Agrigor in the store down with Humongousaur. This moment had me so content y'all. Goku teleporting out the afterlife to save his son is one of my favorite moments in any Dragon Ball Z movies. Folks who've seen this scene can be calling Goku a trash father because the homie pulled up as a dead man to save his son. That's huge dedication right there for being honest. Now we need to talk about one of Goku's greatest lines in the series in my opinion. As Goku told his son, the world is depending on his resolve to believe in himself and to unleash his true power as is the only way to save everyone on the planet. Man I don't know about y'all but Dragon Ball Z era Goku had the greatest speeches. Dragon Ball Z Goku could deadass be a motivational college professor with some of the speeches he'd be delivering in this series. Gohan wakes up and you can just see the change in the young goat's eyes. You know bro's about to put on his Lakers jersey and start whooping folks like he's 99 Kobe Bryant out here. Bojack's squad realized he was about to go down and immediately posted up alongside their boss with the most devious grins known to man. Bojack on the other hand was still processing the fact Goku rocked him with a little Mac punch. Nearby, Gohan got up from the ground with a new sense of determination and look at this back shot of Gohan y'all. Gohan got that standing on business pose locked into the max. You already know homie's about to turn each one of the villains into a Mortal Kombat 9 fatality with the way he's posting up like that. Gohan quickly gives thanks to his father for saving him and again powering up. The frame of Bojack's face always gets me man. The bum can just tell he and his squad are about to get a Cell Jr type fade from Gohan. Gohan fully powers up as a Super Saiyan 2 and this close shot of Gohan's face exhibits so much intensity in the scene. The next few lines by Gohan makes this Batman glare of his so much more impactful. As Gohan says, I know you're kind. You think you can just waltz in and just take our planet. And Gohan was right about his 99 overall assumption because Bojack pulled out one of the most <laughs> distasteful grins out there. Homie was out here utilizing the Joker Tim grin from the Return of the Joker movie. Gohan finishes his powerful speech by saying, well you forgot one thing, I'm my father's son, as he continues to show his enormous rage to the group of villains. That's right Gohan, talk your shit to these clowns. All the jokes aside, this is without a doubt one of my favorite lines in the series. Now we need to talk about the next shot of Bojack in this scene. This man hey, got the yo. same facial expression as Uncle Ruckus after the man got his DNA test results back. This is the face of a man who realized he made a grave mistake. Gohan starts slowly walking up to his ops like he was Superman in his throwdown with Dark Side from Just Like Unlimited, which causes Bojack to have Bujin and Beto initiate the Hall of Fame jumping strategy on the pissed off sand. What a scared punk. Bro is getting his weaker homies to fight Gohan first because he doesn't want to lose his street credit from getting packed up first. Bujin and Beto both fly up to Gohan and utilize their cycle threat combo on the street sand, hopefully nullifying him like they did earlier. The only problem with this smart strategy is the fact that it wasn't having any effect on Gohan whatsoever. Like, look at Gohan's face in this frame. The man is irritated these bums are still trying this outdated ass jumping strategy on him with his Hall of Fame rage mode equipped. Gohan stops his walking and quickly cancel out Psycho Dread with glorious energy. The clowns were like, oh nah, you're not gonna humiliate us in front of our boss and fight jumping them together. That stupid plan didn't work out well for Bujin or Beto as Gohan proceeds to one shot them both with their the Cell Juniors during the Cell Saga. Somebody comes sign Gohan to a UFC deal. All this homie knows is how to lethally one shot someone. After deleting the two fodder clowns, 
clowns. Gohan looks back at the two remaining ops with the Batman glare animation badge equipped. Dog, this frame, oh my god, look at homegirl's face. It's like I didn't mean to participate in clapping your squad. I'm being truthful. It was all this brute's idea behind me. And Bojack's like, girl, I did not sign you up to my group for you to start backing away from our op like a scared hyena. You clapped the legendary Krillin all by yourself. Where is that same energy now? Honestly, you can't blame Zangia. She'd be scared shitless too if we were in her shoes, but we wouldn't be as we're all smart enough to not piss off Gohan. Gohan begins flying up in preparation of sending Zangia to the afterlife next. And man, this nigga Bojack is a piece of trash. Bro got the 2024 Carmelo Hayes heel plan worked out already as the man pushes former girl Girl, blew her ass up in an attempt to get Gohan too. Luckily, Gohan got the attack, but truly a sick turn by a twisted individual. Now, you know this dude Bojack is truly an all time homicidal maniac as the man started laughing like the Joker while powering up his next key blast. Like, homie, why are you laughing? Your squad got packed up in an instant, and you're finna be the next one going to the afterlife too. I wouldn't be laughing if I was you. Bojack jumped in the air to deliver his charged key blast, and Gohan's face, man, bro, is so annoyed these frauds activated Super Saiyan 2 in him just to perform basic attacks like a key blast. I'd be a Annoyed too, not gonna lie. Bojack was hoping the blast would render Gohan into a Minecraft skeleton, but was shocked to realize the blast had no effect on the young goat. Bojack posts stuff in front of Gohan with a declaration of deleting him for good, and Gohan looked at the fraud with an expression on his face. Homie is thinking I clapped most of your squad already. You ain't built for me. Shut your sorry ass up already. Bojack flies up with the hopes of utilizing the Falcon Punch on Gohan, but ends up being on the receiving end of Gohan's own punch. This shot, holy moly. Bojack realized he gooped so bad, but it's too late, my guy, you're already 50% away from becoming a full Mortal Kombat fatality. Bojack starts screaming out in pain like a cartoon villain and calls him a fool. Bruh, this dude Bojack gotta be delusional or something. You got a miniature donut hole in your abs, yet Gohan is somehow the fool in this situation. Wild. Bojack still trying to be the cool dude that he's not, asks Gohan if he has any last words as he prepares for a final attack. Gohan answers Bojack's question by powering up a Kamehameha. The two opponents unleash their blast and speed dash each other Sonic style to see who will be the victor of the bout. Bojack proves to the view is that he's truly a fraud as the bum is sent packing from Gohan's final attack. Bojack Unbound is one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z movies of all time, though I'll be honest with y'all, I hated how most of the Z fighters got done dirty in this movie. My G's and sisters who watched the OG Dragon Ball, you already know Yamcha and Tien deserve a better showing. Vegeta and Piccolo, who always had the best pull ups in the movies, got dispatched relatively easily too. The movie was still great nonetheless, and I love this era of Gohan so much. Gohan is a chill guy, but if you provoke him, he'll be the biggest menace you, you can ever think of. That phrase can fit with a lot of people in today's society too. Also, the next videos coming out will be the Wonder Woman video and the Black History Month Sit Down video. Also, let me know what other type of videos you would like me to do in the future, like maybe a Marvel video. Anything you believe would be a great video topic, let me know down in the comments below. As always, if y'all enjoyed the video, consider hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, I hope y'all can have a nice week, and I'll catch y'all for the next videos. Boral Army out.